So by now, I'm sure that you've heard that Caitlyn Jenner is running to be the governor of California. <sighs> Look, reality television show stars in American politics obviously isn't necessarily a new phenomenon. It's still really depressing because I know that she actually does have a chance. I don't know how high of a chance that she has, but would people vote for a clueless reality television show star to be, you know, an elected leader. Yeah, they, they would. I think that Trump proved that. Uh, but Greg Gutfeld, who has a comedy show now on Fox News, reacted to the news, and it seems like he actually is kind of enthusiastic about Caitlyn Jenner being the governor of California. The issue for him is that she's transgender. He could barely contain his transphobia, and in his uh, monologue where he jokes about her running... You're going to see a consistent theme here uh, with his jokes. Now, I, I tried really hard to cover this in a regular segment where I just talked to the camera. Uh, I couldn't because there were so many contradictions and stupid things that him and his panelists said that I have to, like, react to each individual sentence. That's how bad it is. So I'm going to be pausing this quite a bit. Uh, but nonetheless, let's, let's, uh, let's let him take it away. Could we see Kate running the Golden State. Caitlyn Jenner is running for governor of California, hoping to unseat Gavin Newsom, who is as unpopular as Gavin Newsom. <laughs> Jenner, a Republican, has lived in California for over 50 years and considers herself fiscally conservative and socially liberal. No word if Democrats might nominate the Real Housewives of Orange County. <laughs> Caitlyn said in a statement for the past decade, we have seen the glimmer of the Golden State reduced by one party rule that places politics over progress. Damn straight. And special interests over people. I agree. Sacramento needs an honest leader with a clear vision. Here, here. So he likes what she's saying. And of course, what she's saying is extremely, extremely stupid. First of all, she should be happy about one party rule because even though the Democratic Party is objectively terrible when it comes to economic issues, as are Republicans, that party is the party that fought for her rights as a trans woman. And when it comes to special interests, she is a special interest. Elites in America, multimillionaires, billionaires, these are the special interests. So them being in positions of power, that's not going to make things better. As we've seen with Donald Trump, that just makes things a lot worse. And what is your vision? She has zero policies on her website, zero policies. But she says that Sacramento needs an honest leader with a clear vision. Caitlin, name one policy. Just just one. Just name a policy. Conservative, just name one policy. Oh, wait. The fact that she knows that there's a difference between fiscal conservatism and uh, social liberalism to me is honestly shocking because I didn't know that she was aware of even these types of things. But this is someone who is obviously not qualified. She's clueless. This is a Trump supporter. She literally voted against her own self-interest and now she wants to run an entire state. What's your qualification? Oh, well, I was a reality show star for like 10 years and my family literally will not go away. Oh, great. Thank you. Thank you. Let's let's definitely vote for that. Apparently, this announcement made Newsom so nervous, he nearly dropped his shrimp fork at the French laundry. <laughs> the big question, I'm will Jenner pull in the crucial ex-Olympian transgendered conservative reality show star voter demographic? <laughs> One thing is for sure, Democrats will have to get very creative in trying to argue that voting for her is transphobic. <laughs> Caitlin's appeal... Oh, stop, 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 stop. What? Caitlin's appeal could cross gender boundaries as easily as Caitlin crossed gender boundaries. <laughs> but here at Gutfeld, so the we are joke. so excited, we've already come up with some bumper sticker slogans for her. Jenner, better ideas and better hair. <laughs> Jenner, a governor that can keep up with the Kardashians. Nice. Good. Jenner, strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. That's the second trans Jenner, transgender she reference. she already beat the communists once. She can do it again. <laughs> Jenner, bet you haven't been on a Wheaties box, you wimpy liberal. <laughs> Jenner, I'm all woman, and I can still kick any man's ass on the 440. <laughs> Finally, Jenner, make the switch. <laughs> He just, he can't get over the fact that she's transgender. And it's funny because conservatives, like, they're really struggling here because on one hand, they know that Caitlyn Jenner is someone who would do exactly what the Republican Party wants, exactly what they want. 
But at the same time, they hate her because she's transgender. Now, for me, this is easy. I don't care about your identity. I care about what you're proposing. And regardless if Caitlyn Jenner is transgender or cisgender, the policies that she'd implement would objectively hurt working people, would not be good for the LGBTQ plus community as a whole. Perhaps she would advance transgender uh, legislation, but I mean, it's California, so it's one of the better states. If you are a trans person, they at least acknowledge your existence, you know, contrary to more uh, Republican-leaning states. But uh, the panelists is now going to chime in here. And what they say, like, I, I saw most of this, but not all of it. What they're going to say they don't even realize how hypocritical and contradictory their statements are, and nobody calls them out for this. Oh. Morgan, oh. I am so excited. <laughs> I might quit my job yeah. and work for her, except I'm greedy, <laughs> and I have a lifestyle that needs to be supported by vast wealth. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> is that really that funny? Does that really warrant them busting a gut like that? This is so weird. And I don't even get the cadence. It's kind of like the semi-serious tone that, that he's using, but it's like he kind of does seem enthusiastic about her. I, I just, I don't understand this. He would be a great press secretary. You'd be a great press secretary. <laughs> I am so excited about this. First of all, I think she's fabulous. Um, I think she's great. I'm, and uh, this proves, by the way, that Republicans don't care about identity politics. Yeah, no, wait, wait for it, because she's going to say Republicans don't care about identity politics, meaning that, you know, they're not even phased by the fact that she's transgender. I mean, let's pretend like the uh, monologue that Greg Gutfeld uh, just did didn't make like five or six references to her being transgender. But nonetheless, we're not phased uh, by any of it. We don't care about identity politics. Wait for it because the hypocrisy is coming. Like, yeah. You can pick whatever you want to be. I also love that uh, Rick Grinnell may run against her, the first openly gay cabinet member. Mm -hmm. So we can have the first trans woman, uh, the first openly gay cabinet member running against each other in the Republican primary. Like, take that list. <laughs> You know, I'm just so proud of the fact that Republicans don't care about identity politics. Also, we'll have the first transgender and the first gay Republican running uh, against each other in this uh, gubernatorial campaign. But we're against identity politics. Oh my God, you fucking hypocrite. It took less than 10 seconds and see, she contradicted herself. Holy fucking shit. It's a deal, Terry. The, what's interesting, people are going to focus on uh, on Caitlyn's identity, but not her. She has a who's doing that. Caitlyn's appeal could cross gender boundaries as easily as Caitlyn cross gender boundaries. <laughs> Jenner, make the switch. <laughs> Wicked sense of humor. Yeah. I don't know if you've noticed no, that. You, you told me that you actually know her because I was asking you, and you. Said well, we lived together for a while. Yeah, yeah. In the 70s. Well, uh, you know, I was. You know that I actually was her. Uh, we lived together in the se in the seventies. <laughs> Uh, I got her into the decathlon. <laughs> I pulled some strings. This I know people. This explains a lot because yeah. I, I want to say something. First of all, I got I got to talk about this. Okay, the gut felled exclamation point <laughs> thing. Listen, now now it's all coming clear because when we were close, yes, you used to come over to my place, and I knew he was coming because it's Goofy Greg, and he'd knock on the door, and sometimes he'd be naked or in an outfit. <laughs> no, and, we, and, 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 and no, guys, this really and it th we, I'd throw the door open. And we'd greet each other and go like this with jazz hands. Gut fell! <laughs> and it was like exclamation point. And so I feel like you've robbed this yes. from us. Yes. And <laughs> this I, was supposed to be our thing. This was kind of... <laughs> it was kind of between us. And I, I feel like you've... And again, I'm happy for your success, but it, it, I can't say it doesn't hurt. It hurts. Hurt. It hurts you. Okay, Caitlin, <laughs> vote, if you could vote for her, would you vote for Caitlin? Uh, yeah, sure. I, I, I would not vote for her just because she's Caitlin. She's got a great platform. Go for it. I, it'd be hard to put in... It's a working. What is her platform? Name a single policy that she is proposing besides tax cuts for the rich. Can you name any other policy? They must be so tired from all of that fake laughing. California, but hell yeah, go for it, man. Why yeah, not? That's the, the challenge. Cal 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 that's the problem. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Who was a, it destroyed him. Yeah, it destroyed, it destroyed him. him. And he probably had a good shot. He ended of up doing sleeping it. with the maid. Yeah, it got bad. Yeah. <laughs> it had a baby. Yeah, they had. That was the beautiful, happy ending, though. <laughs>
Silver lining. Yeah, this, that was the beautiful happy ending, though. <laughs> You're so funny, Greg Gutfeld. Oh my God, stop it. There's a silver lining to a lot of infidelity. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I really wonder what you two did in that fox. Right, could we, could we do a reenactment of that? Yes, yes. <laughs> what, we did, what we did was get each other through the war. Yes. Okay? Janice. And we'll just leave it at that. So Janice, I grew up in California. I can't vote there, but I would vote there. I would vote twice. <laughs> no ID, right? Um, <laughs> See, Democrats commit voter fraud. <laughs> I'm a comedian. I'm a comedian. I'm so fucking funny. I'm a comedian. I'm so edgy. <laughs> what are your thoughts? I wish she was running against Cuomo. Oh, wow. Wow. How about that? How about that? You know, you know, we try to kiss her. He would try to kiss her in the debate. Right. Good then, to see you, Caitlin. <laughs> Let me kiss because you. Because he kisses everyone. Yes. It's an Italian thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you so much for explaining the joke. If she didn't explain that joke about him being a perv, I wouldn't have gotten it. I mean, it's not like this audience is politically engaged and knows about these sorts of scandals. So thank you for explaining that. I don't think they would have gotten it otherwise. Yeah, and you're racist if you, de you know, deny it. Right, or Fredo. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. Racist. <laughs> Yes. Uh, okay. I think it's great. Uh, I love that Joy Behar melted down today. Oh. All of Twitter melted down. Yeah. How could you Twitter. tell with Joy, though? <laughs> right. She kept calling him, him he, really? and then kind of apologized at the end. But, you know, if she had done that, with, she'd never do that with a Democrat. Yeah. Right? That would never happen. It probably, it probably, it probably bothers her because it happens to or her. Or whatever. She had the word whatever That's in her apology. Oh. The most heartfelt of apologies contain the word whatever. <laughs> I'll bet you a steak dinner, I'll probably forget it by right. then, that she will win. Look, because she's running as the anti-lockdown candidate. A lot of people yes. are pissed yeah. that they were all locked down. Their businesses had to fail. Well, you know, Newsom's out there having these fancy dinners. Yes. Because it was like his AIDS birthday. You know, yeah. that occasion only comes once in a lifetime. Like, ridiculous. <laughs> well, people, yeah, yeah, sorry. No, no to the funeral to say goodbye to your loved one. But, oh, but this I have to do. And uh, it, there really, there is a space for that right now. Um, and I just think it really is great because, again, a lot of the arguments people use to sort of silence Republicans are this, oh, the, you're this bigot. She is not only transgender, she's also a lesbian. Mm -hmm. So, like, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do there? And I think it's awesome. I love keeping up with the Kardashians. Kris Jenner was so mean. Yes. And yeah. I'm almost afraid to say that because I'm scared of Kris Jenner. Yeah. She has better hair than Gavin Newsom. Yes. Oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and she's an athlete. Athletes yeah. are never victim. They never they never fall for the victimology. She's a humor. She doesn't mind if people make jokes about her. She's like, oh, that's funny. Like, I, had, I had no idea she was a lesbian because you know, that's what I identify with. Uh, yeah. So that'll be great. <laughs> Again, this explains everything. <laughs> This explains everything. Back to the Fox well, right. We just went right to it. Oh, no. That's right. what I'm right. thinking about right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here. To Fuck off, Sean Hannity. So that is conservative comedy. Any questions? Alpha male, not a beta male.